What if the pills you've taken over the years are still shaping your digestion, immunity, even your mood today, long after the bottles ran out? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and we're examining new evidence that common medications can disrupt your gut microbiome for months or years with effects that add up over time. I'm here to help you understand what this means for you and how you can begin restoring balance. I'm Alara Sky, and I'll break down the key findings so you can see how your medication history leaves a biological memory in your gut. We'll also outline practical steps, grounded in the research, that you can use to support recovery without guessing. Researchers in Estonia analyzed large biobank datasets and found that nearly 90% of 186 common medications were linked to measurable changes in gut composition, and almost half left lingering shifts that persisted after the drugs were stopped. Antibiotics produced the strongest and most persistent disruption, with effects still evident six months later and worsening cumulatively with each additional course. That cumulative pattern matters for you because even three to four antibiotic courses were enough to shift microbial communities, and each additional round left a stronger imprint. When researchers adjusted for antibiotic history, many previously reported links between specific microbes and certain diseases weakened or disappeared, showing how past drug exposure can confound what you think your microbiome is telling you. It wasn't only antibiotics. Non-antibiotic drugs, antidepressants, benzodiazepines, beta blockers, proton pump inhibitors, and glucocorticoids also altered microbial composition. Some of these shifts were distinctive enough that researchers could infer past medication use just by looking at someone's microbial profile. A follow-up study tracked 328 people for an average of 4.4 years with repeated stool sampling. That design let the team see cause and effect. Starting or stopping certain drugs led to predictable microbial changes. In practical terms, your current gut pattern may reflect medications you took months or years ago more than what you're on today. Here's a striking detail. Benzodiazepines produced antibiotic level disruption in the microbiome. Even within the same class, drugs weren't interchangeable. Diazepam and alprazolam left different microbial fingerprints. That tells you small chemical differences can create very different long-term outcomes in your gut. The researchers also found that past prescriptions explained more variation in the microbiome than current ones. 0.74% versus 0.47%. A reminder that your gut retains a durable memory of exposures. For you, this means a single snapshot of what you're taking now can miss the true drivers of what you're feeling today. Polypharmacy, using multiple drugs over time, emerged as a public health concern. Older adults and anyone managing chronic illness often layer medications, creating overlapping, long-lasting disruption. If you're juggling several prescriptions, your gut ecosystem may be shifting farther from balance with each added agent. The encouraging news is that your microbiome is adaptable. Recovery starts by removing what continues to injure it and supplying steady inputs that allow beneficial organisms to regain territory. The first step is to review and reduce unnecessary medications with your healthcare provider. Many prescriptions continue well past their original intent. Streamlining lowers the chemical load on your gut and creates conditions for repair. Next, remove ongoing dietary stressors. Polyunsaturated fats from vegetable oils, especially linoleic acid, Promote oxidative stress that weakens your intestinal barrier. Replace them with stable fats such as grass-fed butter, ghee, tallow, or coconut oil. This single shift reduces inflammation and supports the lining that your microbes help maintain. Once irritants are out, stabilize your gut with easy-to-digest, low-residue carbohydrates. Aim for about 200 to 250 grams of clean, unprocessed carbs per day from sources like whole fruits, apples, berries, bananas, along with well-cooked white rice and sweet potatoes. When your digestion feels calmer, begin adding fiber-rich vegetables, whole grains, and resistant starches to diversify your microbes and sustain beauty rate production. As stability returns, reintroduce beneficial microbes carefully. Start with small portions of fermented foods such as kefir, 
plain grass-fed yogurt, sauerkraut, or kimchi. If those aren't feasible, a high-quality probiotic is an option. Introduce one product at a time and observe your response so you can tell what truly helps. Support those organisms with prebiotic inputs. Foods like garlic, onion, leek, asparagus, and even milk provide fructoligosaccharides and galactoligosaccharides that feed beneficial microbes. If you tolerate them, these choices help the community you're rebuilding to take hold and function. You also need a plan for future prescriptions. If a new medication is necessary, make microbiome protection part of the conversation. Pairing drugs with supportive nutrients and a balanced diet can help you avoid another cycle of disruption. You want your progress to be sustainable rather than resetting the gut with each new treatment. To recap the evidence in plain terms, most common medications alter your gut. Nearly half leave long-lasting traces. Antibiotics disrupt the most and stack with each course. Several non-antibiotic classes leave distinct microbial fingerprints, and your past prescriptions may matter more than what you're taking today. These findings explain why your gut might not bounce back without deliberate changes. Your action plan is straightforward. First, audit your medication list with your clinician and remove what you no longer need. Second, eliminate vegetable oils and choose stable fats that support the intestinal barrier. Third, stabilize with 200 to 250 grams of simple unprocessed carbohydrates from fruit, well-cooked white rice, and sweet potatoes, then layer in fiber sources as tolerance improves. Fourth, reintroduce fermented foods or a probiotic one at a time. Fifth, add prebiotic foods to nourish the microbes you've rebuilt. Finally, Stay vigilant when new medications are proposed so your gut health remains part of every decision. Here's your challenge. Over the next seven days, list every medication you currently take and any you've used regularly in the past two years, remove vegetable oils from your kitchen, and build a daily plate that includes fruit plus one easy-to-digest carbohydrate like well-cooked white rice or sweet potato. Track how your digestion feels at the end of the week and note any changes. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.